Welcome. In a previous video, I went over the process to install Synology Drive on Windows 10 and also on how to install the Synology Drive admin on a Synology NAS. I'll put a link in the description of those videos. I'll also put a link to my playlist and you can look at those. You may need to watch those before this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about backing up Windows 10 with Synology Drive backup. So I have my Windows 10 machine. I have Synology Drive installed. I'll go down here and open it up in my tray. I'll click the three dots here. I'll click settings. Close this. So we currently have sync task set up and then we want to go down here to backup task. We want to create a backup task and we have two options here. We have connected Synology NAS. So I'm already set up so I'm going to use this. If not I would click on another Synology NAS and I would enter in my information to connect my IP address, username, and password. So if you're going to have the machine, if you're not always going to have the machine local, you may want to use your Quick Connect ID here instead of an IP address. We want to click Next, and we're going to select the backup source. So you could do this the whole C drive, um, but a lot of people are just going to want to use do the users or just your your account. So if you have multiple users, you may do all of users. Um, you may just want to do your home directory. I'm just going to do the documents folder just because it's faster for this video. And then we have the backup destination. We can select that and you can change the name here. I'll hit OK. I'll hit Next. And then we have three options here. We have continuous backup, manual backup, and scheduled backup. And continuous backup just backs up all the time. So every time you make a change, it backs up. Manual backup would probably be better if you're working on big files like uh, maybe virtual machine files or video files and you don't want to back those up every second. Um, you just want to back up after you get a large chunk of work done. And then scheduled backup would be good if you're like, uh, want your backup to run in the middle of the night or while you're at lunch or something. So we'll hit next. And we have a summary of our backup settings here. We'll hit done. It's going to test our connection. And now it's going to back up. Okay, the backup is completed. So I'll open up the document folder here. And I'll right click and I'll say new text file. And you'll see it backs up immediately. I'll open it up. I'll type, this is a test. I'll save it. And you'll see it backs up again. This is another test. Okay, so that backed up and saved again. I'll click restore here now. And you have to navigate through your uh, file system. So users, RIC, documents. And we see the test file here. We can right click on it and say browse previous versions. And we'll see I saved it three times so we have three different versions here. So every time we saved it, it saved a new version. So then we could go here and download this. So that's the basics of setting up backup to the Synology Drive on Windows 10. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.